So in this video, we're going to be talking about how to do input in Python in many different styles. So I'm going to go through these few different styles, which is numbers on different lines, numbers on the same line, 2D array of numbers, uh, string input, uh, full line, and word by word. So let's actually do this. So essentially what we're trying to do is we're just trying to replicate different types of input that you might see during a coding competition. So the first type of input that we might have is given n numbers on separate lines, print their sum. So for example, we might have five numbers and then we have the following five numbers here. And then all we wanna do is just take in the sum for those numbers. So how do we do that? Well, first let's take in that number n. So the way we do that is, the way Python works is that any input that you give it is going to be a string. So the way we convert it to an integer is we just simply cast it. So we just say int of the input like this. So that's our number n there. And now all we need to do is we need to run a loop n times and then take in the input and find the sum. So we're going to say for every i in range of n, we can just say, for example, a is equal to int of the input. And then we're going to say, for example, create a sum variable here. And we're going to say sum plus equals a. And then finally, we can just print it out like so. And this will successfully do our numbers on different line solution for us. OK, so the next thing we have is what happens if the numbers are on the same line? Now, you saw you might have seen in Java that, you know, it doesn't matter whether or not it's on a new line or on a separate line. But the way Python works is it's a little different and makes it a little less convenient for us to take input on the same line. So the way I'm going to do it is we still take it the input n, but we're going to create a variable sum here. And instead, what we need to do is we actually need to create an array of numbers. So we can't do this all in one place. So I'm going to say numbers is equal to. So it's an array. And how do we fill this array? Well, it's actually pretty cool the way Python works. We're going to say it's the int of the input, num, like that. And we're going to say for every num in the input, like so. We're going to say dot split by a space, like so. And how many times do we want to split it? Well, we want to split it n minus 1 times because, as you will see later, there is going to be exactly n minus 1 spaces between the numbers. So if I have five numbers here, then I have exactly one, two, three, four spaces between the numbers. So then all I need to do here is I need to say for every number in numbers, sum plus equals num. So for every number in the numbers array, add it to our sum, and then we can just print out the total sum like so. Okay. Now what happens if I'm given an n by m matrix of numbers and I want to find their sum? Well, once again, it's pretty simple. Now, the thing about this is that um, we need to create an n by m, uh, or we need to have an m by m matrix. So we're going to say it's equal to um, input dot split. So we need to take in the input here. Now, the thing with this is that it's a little different with uh, all the different programming languages. And the reason I say that is simply because Python works in a weird, almost, it, it works in a kind of weird way. So the way we would take input for um, Python with two lines here is the way we say is just input like this, and then we want to split the values by some number. So we can just say dot split like that. and we can split it by anything really. That's just what the meaning of dot split is. We're splitting it by any delimiter really. So now you might be wondering, okay, does this convert it to integer now? So that's kind of the issue with what we're doing right here. So instead we need to kind of create an array or we don't really need to create an array, I guess, but it is a little easier if we do create an array. Um, but we can just do this. We're going to say int. So we're going to 
taken an input and split it. So this is our initial array. And then we're going to say convert each one of those into some x value. So the way you read it is, is for every x in this, we're going to convert it into an integer. So for example, if I actually run this right now, and maybe I'll print it too. Oops. I'll print it. So we're going to say 5, 6. We get 5 and 6 in return. So it's a bit weird in Python, but it actually makes sense. So yeah, you can read it almost like convert every x into an integer uh, for every x in the input, and we split it. So what's the problem again? Well, we have this right here. So we're going to loop through. So we might say, for example, loop through n times. So for i in range of n, um, we're going to say for j in range of m. Now, this isn't actually the same as Java. So we actually can't do this right now. Instead, what we're going to do is we're going to say the current row i is equal to an array of numbers. So we're going to say it's an integer x. So it's the same way we did it with the same line solution, really. So the way we did that is we just said, OK, well, go through each of the numbers and split it by m minus 1 numbers. So we're going to do the same thing here. So we're going to say int x for every x in the input dot split by the space. And how many spaces are we going to have? We're going to have m minus 1 spaces per line. So this will take in an entire row for me, really. Now, if I wanted to say the whole matrix, oh, whoops, if I wanted to say the whole matrix, it's just an empty array for now. And then all I can say here is matrix.append row i. Now, you could also just make this one entire thing like this, same thing. But I'm just showing you for clarity, really. OK, so then all you need to do is, for example, you might just say, for every i, for every row in um, matrix, right? So there's going to be a bunch of arrays. And then now we're working on the current row. So we're going to say for every num in row, we're going to say sum plus equals num. And for example, we might want to create a sum variable here. And then finally print it out, like so. so let's see if this works, actually. So we have 5 by 5, and we have the numbers. Let's just go really simple input, just a bunch of zeros and a one. And we should expect a simple answer of one as our, or let's put another one here, and we should expect an answer of two. So there we go. So we have an answer of two for our input. OK. So what's the next thing that we need to do? Let's have a string that's a full line. Well, actually, the way Python works is that it already takes in a full line. That's why we needed to split the entire thing. So uh, just to show you how to take in the input, it's really simple. We just say s is equal to input. And that's all you need to do. You can do the rest of the processing yourself. You might want to go for every character in s. Um, and let's just print it out just to see what it would give me. So let's say, hello, welcome to Doorway Education. You can see that it's going to print out every one of the characters. And so what we can say is, if c is equal to a space, then count plus plus, or count plus equals 1. And let's create that count variable here. So in our example, hello, welcome to Doorway Education, we see that we have 1, 2, 3, 4 spaces. So let's do that. And we see that we have 4 here. OK. Now, what if you wanted to do a word by word? Well, it's the same thing, pretty much. You take in the input here, and you pretty much just keep going. So the thing with Python is that you can't really, you can keep track of the number of words that you have. But the thing is, it's it gets a little complicated. So I'll just show you a really quick example on, let's say, for example, all of the words were on the same line. You can do the rest of the processing yourself. You can see how explore and explore how it works, but I'm just going to show you how this one right here works. So it's the same thing. We just take in the whole line. So I'm going to call this line, for example. And instead, what we want to do is we want to um, split it once again by spaces. So actually, let's call this words. 
and we can just do the input directly from here. So we're going to say for every x, so it's the same idea, for x in the input, and we're going to split it by the spaces. And then all we need to do is say for every word in words, well, what do we do? Well, we're just pretty much just going to say if word is hello, count plus equals one. So count is equal to zero here, and we can just print out the count. So if we had the input of hello, welcome to doorway education, we should just get an input of, oh, let's see. Ah, okay, so the issue here is that we have a comma. So I'm actually gonna remove that comma here. And we get to zero still. So let's see what's happening. So I might just print out the word. remove that comma there again so we see there is a hello ah because i'm using is so we should be using equals equals sorry about that so yeah we have a one right here and that's pretty much it so once again is sorry is for using is for comparing objects and so we use equals equals for this as well so you can see here that we have one hello so we print out how many ones are hello and that's exactly one and that's pretty much it for input in Python.